Hi, this is Steve Brightfield, Chief Marketing Officer at BrainChip, coming to you from CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas for 2025. We're here talking to key partners, industry analysts, and leading developers of electronics products in the market to get a feel for what is really in the future for AI, particularly AI at the edge. I'm joined today with Bill Eichen, Vice President of Business Development at Degiram, a key partner for delivering model evaluation capabilities of BrainChip's Akita over the cloud. I have to Thanks for having me, Steve. It means a lot to the Jerome and, you know, being a software partner of BrainChip is uh, appreciated. Well, I have to admit, I've been a longtime uh, friend of, of Bill, working in a, a company uh, many years ago, and we've kept in touch, and uh, we see a real partnership here evolving between uh, BrainChip and Degiram. Um Maybe we can uh, dig into a little bit about your background a little bit. You've got quite an esoteric background. Uh, you and I worked together at Zoran Corporation, which was eventually acquired and is now part of Qualcomm. But uh, tell us of some of your other journeys since then. Yeah, so Steve and I met I, about 35 years ago at a small semiconductor company called Zoran. And we were both youngsters at the time with product lines and Unfortunately for me, I saw the company burn through $40 million with a fab, and I decided to go to another company called Cypress Semiconductor. That company went public, then went on to IDT to run their communications group. And then someone asked me if I wanted to be the CEO and president of an HDMI company that was in trouble. And that company is Analogix, and that one did well. And uh, then I started a fund, and now I'm with the germ. So now, Steve, we've come full circle. So, Bill, could you share a little bit about your journey uh, getting into the AI industry and what led you to, to Giram? Yeah, so the company was founded about eight years ago by semiconductor executives who tried to build a device, and they decided that four teraflops wasn't fast enough, and there were, were more opportunities for us in the software business working with the leading uh, semiconductor companies like BrainChip. So I joined them basically because AI was growing. My background's in signal processing and communications, and I wanted to try a software role working with partnerships with semiconductor companies. That's fantastic. So Degirum has really kind of changed its business model from being a chip provider to a software platform provider in the edge AI space. Is that correct? That's exactly right. And the reason we did this is because there were so many players that we saw in the field that we realized our software platform was more valuable. And so now because it's hardware agnostic, you go to the thejurum.com website and you can try BrainChip on our cloud by pressing like a few buttons and putting in your models or using our models. So that that's the value proposition for the company is the, the hub. And then we have a, a Python SDK that's available for runtime. So uh, this AI hub, this is the, the software product that allows people to evaluate models over the, the web, right? Um, and what role do you see that playing in the, the growing AI ecosystem? Well, right now, the end users of Edge AI that are building their platforms have seven or eight different semiconductor Edge AI companies to buy from. So instead of them building a box for you and Halo and Memrix and the other players in this field, they can just press a button and see that Ray Chip has a big advantage, especially the homomorphic processing, which not that many people know much about. So it's the most important thing is the is the, our platform. It allows you to evaluate brain chip right away and see what kind of benchmarks. So that's in fact right. So what we have done is we've provided some of uh, the brain chip silicon devices and you have embedded them into your service and people are actually talking to our silicon when they're uh, logging on to your AI hub, right? Yeah, they like it because we haven't had any problems with brain chip. So they go in, they write two lines of code, load and, and process, and they can evaluate your benchmarks immediately. So what sets to gear them apart from other companies in the model evaluation and AI services space today? Well, you know, when I started at the company, I went out and tried to find out who the competitors were. And honestly, I, I couldn't really find any. What differentiates us, I think, if there are other, other players in it, is that we've got this hub and eight different semiconductor AI edge processors. And I don't think anybody can make that claim 
and at the same time have an SDK. So I think we're unique in that space. So how does this address problems that uh, Edge AI developers have? Right. So let me tell you what it's like to be an Edge AI developer, because I talk to them every day. They go out and they say, you know, we like your software in SDK, but we have seven or eight different chip companies to evaluate. And some of these companies go build five or six different boxes, one with BrainShip, one with Halo and Memrix and et cetera. And then they, they have to write custom software for each one and run the benchmarks. If you start at the very beginning before choosing to go with BrainShip, then, then you just run the algorithms on our cloud and then you can build hardware. So it's a nice way to try the algorithms and, and your application software out, and, and then you you can move to any chip you want. So I understand that you can do some functional evaluation models, but how do you really ensure that you're getting a robust and efficient performance on those models running? That's a good question. So what we provide, for example, a pre-processing module for video, so video analytics and analysis. Um, if you use our our models or the customer's models, you'll be able to compare between the different device uh, types instantaneously. And so that it's really saving you time. The hardest thing in edge AI development is the time it takes. And we, we try to create a platform that's easy to use. And within five minutes, you can see what BrainShip can do on your video. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you on that. A lot of uh, developers are used to, you know, getting a cloud model and running it on a cloud service and getting results back right away. And they want that same kind of experience on the edge. But you're working with a much more constrained device uh, that requires really optimized programming, not high level programming to execute these models. So if you're not able to do that um, low level programming of these, this really leverages you know, developers aren't used to that to be able to access these models, optimize at low level, running on target hardware. Then is that correct? That's yeah. exactly. I couldn't have said it any better. Okay, good. Um, so, how do you envision partnerships between Degiram and all the age AI processor companies benefiting the overall industry? So, the industry needs to save time, and most of what we do is save time for the customer. So, for example. In, in the most recent big win with the United States government, the brain chip have, mm -hmm. they went with you because you had the best processor and you were easy to work with. If you're a company like the city of London right now is developing boxes to go with their video processors and they've always used, let's say, Halo or someone else. And now they're like, well, why are we using that chip when there's like eight different competitors? So... We're going to make the industry a lot more competitive because of the ease of use of our software development platform. And the customers are going to use the chip that works for them, that gives them the best price and performance and optimized around their application. So rather than going to eight companies and buying their own soft, proprietary software environments or their target hardware and individually assessing it, they can just go to one location, your site, and then do a, 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 a quick evaluation of what's available in the market. And depending on their use case, then they might have different requirements for different use cases and that would select different processors. Is that correct? That's exactly it. You know, to be fair to all of our partners and, you know, since Steve and I go back always, I always want them to look at the brain chip, but the, the important thing is that they, they can see how brain chip functions immediately. And that saves them time. And then they don't have to build seven or eight boxes and seven or eight software instances. So we're, we're the one-stop shop. If you're into edge AI applications, you come to us and we only make money when you use the SBK in a runtime environment. So we're not going to charge you a dollar like some of the people in the software business. We're not going to charge you to try our cloud and our hub ADI. And we're not going to charge you anything to get the SDK. When you go to production, then you pay us a certain amount per month per, per runtime instance. So it's almost you know a freemium where everybody gets to evaluate, freely evaluate these models without you know a contractual uh, a, a agreement and so forth. Um, how do you you know, you have optimization tools for on the AI hub for edge specific constraints like power efficiency, latency, or memory footprint? Do you add any value add there? We, we don't add much value in power. 
I will tell you that I wish I could do better with power, but but I can't. Um, it's mostly getting the the um, efficiency and the performance of the different processors. Okay, great. Are there some specific examples of how you collaborated with hardware partners like BrainChip to enhance model performance? Yeah, we, we have our own models that we've put on a variety. We have over a thousand models that we've used oh, really? at the company, which is more than any semiconductor company has. But that's because we're a software business. But sometimes using the model that comes from BrainChip will give you better performance. So we, we've actually had the benefit, I believe, Steve, if I'm not mistaken, of having your models up on the cloud as well as our models. Whereas some companies in the semiconductor industry want you to go to them to get the models. But if we don't have it yet, we should have it up there because when you push the button and you run brain chip, it, it's available. Great. So how easy can developers integrate the AI hub into their existing processes? So let me tell you, and this is not an exaggeration, there's exactly two lines of code that you write, which reminds me of the Zorin processor from 35 years ago. <laughs> you, you write a load instruction and tell it where to get the models and where to, to get the input file, and then you tell it to process. And the result comes out. Literally two lines of code come to our website, the gerum, D E G I R U M dot com. Try it for yourself and press the brain chip button. And the same software that you write can, can run. Plus, we just recently announced, although it's not public, but uh, we talk about it all the time, a JavaScript version. So when you use a browser, it's very simple to, to get the outputs on a browser. So that's why we have a JS version. Yeah. Well, we're really excited partnering with Dagira because, you know, the AI market as a whole has been transformational for both business and the economy. And uh, one of the things that we've seen is, is a, a longer adoption cycle for edge AI. And hopefully we think that the, the Dagira product helps uh, address some of that with developers. It makes the uh, edge models more accessible and it allows them to more quickly evaluate and get to product, right? Yeah, it's... It's been great to have your product on there. A lot of people are trying it. And right now we get the support because you guys are in California as well. And we're in Silicon Valley. So the support we get from your team is great, Steve. And the customers, if they have any problems, they usually start with us and they go to the, the supplier. But the, the big thing about being in, in the business of supplying semiconductors, which is 30 years of my experience, um, new to software, to be honest, is that you have to design in the chip and then you have to wait a while and then it goes to pre-production and then hopefully somebody buys the end edge AI. When you speed up the process using our platform on brain chip, then you get to market faster and then we all get paid faster. Yeah, the, we're, we're excited about that opportunity. So you've been a long time attendee to CES and then 2025, uh, what do you see uh, uh, as trends here, and, and do you see Edge AI breaking out of the box in this time frame? What's interesting, and I've been coming to the show literally 30 years. Um, when I was at Analogix running an HDMI USB-C company, this was my show, not the communication shows and the other ones. And what I, what I see from walking the floor today is that every Edge AI semiconductor company has a private suite as opposed to spending or wasting the money on the floor, not to be you know, negative about that. So I, I, I have just spent the entire day with all of our partners on the same floor at the Venetian, including yours. And that, that's much more efficient for me. Unfortunately, the customers um, look at this show, but I think that you know who your customers are. If you're in the business, there's 20 people you can sell to that matter, and that's the people we're focused on. Yeah. But I get to come to CES and see Steve and, and my other friends, and that's more important. Well, I think, yeah, the, the, the private suite where we can show technologies we haven't even released to the public uh, really gets people excited. Uh, a lot of our customers are actually have booths down on the show floor showing their end products. They'll spend the first day or two doing that, and then they book to come up and see what's next for next year that they can incorporate in products in the future. So yeah, for me, I have to tell you, instead of flying to China, Japan, Taiwan, and Korea, everybody comes to Vegas in January and it's, it, you get to reconnect with a lot of senior executives at this show. And that's why I like to come here. 
Well, Bill, it's been a, a pleasure to reconnect with you and, and get this partnership uh, moving in, with Brainship and Degiram. And I look forward to a successful 2025 with Degiram. We do too. Thank you, Steve, for having us. You're welcome.